Hello and welcome to our monthly market update. I'm James from Binance Australia and today we'll be discussing what happened in the world of cryptocurrency for March 2023. First we'll focus on the latest news and updates from the Australian crypto industry. We'll cover everything from regulatory developments to major company announcements and how that might affect Australian investors. Let's get right into it. The Australian Parliament is considering a new bill introduced by Senator Andrew Bragg to establish a licensing regime for cryptocurrency exchanges as the crypto industry faces global regulatory challenges. Senator Bragg emphasises the urgency of implementing proper regulation through Parliament rather than following the US's example of regulating through enforcement. The Digital Assets Bill 2023 proposes three licensing permits for exchanges, custody and the issuance of stablecoins setting minimum capital requirements, governance procedures, and security measures. As Australia moves towards regulating the crypto sector, the government aims to accelerate the process and encourage the industry's growth by providing a clear legal framework. The Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, joins forces with top banks like Commonwealth Bank and ANZ to launch 14 trials exploring a retail central bank digital currency, CBDC, or digital Australian dollar. Trials will use real currency, evaluating CBDCs for faster international transactions, assisting small businesses with GST documentation and offering digital currency access without traditional banking infrastructure. RBA's Assistant Governor Brad Jones praises collaboration between the central bank, banks and fintech firms. Although RBA previously questioned the need for a retail CBDC, its actions align with global interest in CBDCs as a way to protect government-backed currency from cryptocurrencies destabilizing effects. Trials will occur in the coming months and if successful they could pave the way for a digital Australian dollar. The Australian Treasury Department announced that crypto legislation may be postponed until after 2024, as the government conducts in-depth research and industry analysis. Consultation papers are set to be released in Q2 2023, followed by a stakeholder meeting in Q3 2023 to address licensing and digital asset custody issues. The final submission to the Cabinet could be delayed, pushing the decision on digital legislation to 2024 or later. As cryptocurrency use in Australia expands, authorities aim to thoroughly understand the industry before implementing regulations, potentially fostering a robust foundation for growth and innovation. National Australia Bank, NAB, completed a cross-border transaction on the Ethereum blockchain using its Australia stablecoin, AUDN, aiming to decrease time and costs for corporate and institutional clients. NAB plans to support select clients in digital asset transactions by the end of 2023, offering the benefits of digital assets with traditional bank security. The AUDN stablecoin is fully backed by a bank on a one-for-one -one basis with the Australian dollar and manages a liability ensuring security and transparency. NAB's achievement showcases blockchain's technology potential to transform the banking sector by reducing costs and increasing cross-border transaction efficiency. As blockchain adoption grows, more banks may explore using digital assets to enhance services and reduce client cost. Immutable and Polygon Labs partner to introduce a zero-knowledge Ethereum virtual machine, ZKEVM, for Web3 game development called Immutable ZKEVM, powered by Polygon Matic. This platform simplifies game development, enabling developers to build blockchain games without being blockchain experts. The testnet is set to release at the end of Q2, with ZKEVM interfaces available on March 20. This partnership impacts the Web3 gaming industry by providing a powerful tool for creating immersive games using blockchain technology. As the industry grows, more collaborations like this may emerge, leading to more engaging, secure, and entertaining games. Now we're gonna shift our focus across to global crypto news. The failure of three regional US banks with ties to the digital assets sector presents both obstacles and advantages for crypto companies. Silvergate Capital, a major bank for the crypto industry announced its closure and liquidation following the bankruptcy of FTX. Silvergate Capital, once a community bank, pivoted into cryptocurrencies in 2013, offering financial services to crypto companies like FTX. After delaying its annual report to the US SEC and facing multiple lawsuits, Silvergate Capital's stock price plunged and the company decided to wind down operations and liquidate its bank. The collapse of Silvergate Capital impacted the prices of Bitcoin and Ether, highlighting the interconnectedness of the crypto industry with traditional financial institutions. The Ethereum network is set to undergo its next major update called the Shanghai Upgrade, 
aimed at improving liquidity and user experience. The Shanghai upgrade will allow validators to withdraw staked coins, potentially leading to a mass liquidation event or a surge in new users with the update scheduled for April 12th. Following the merge in September 2022, the Ethereum network transitioned to a proof-of-stake system, and the Shanghai upgrade is the first major update since then. The Shanghai upgrade will also introduce the Capella upgrade, applying changes to the consensus layer and jointly referred to as Shapella. Ethereum's Shanghai upgrade aims to boost liquidity and improve the network's efficiency, making it more attractive to users and investors in the long term. Unstoppable domains and polygon labs Labs launch Polygon Domain for simpler transactions over the Polygon blockchain in various applications. Domains will provide users with a digital identity they fully own, allowing them to log into dApps without revealing personal information and transact crypto without long wallet addresses. Domains can be purchased from unstoppable domains with premium domains available later. Microsoft is reportedly developing a non-custodial crypto wallet for its Edge web browser. Currently in the testing phase, the wallet allows users to buy, sell, and transfer cryptocurrencies, supports NFTs, and offers crypto swaps too. Microsoft has partnered with Consensus to provide a built-in crypto swap feature between stablecoins. Now we'll move into the world of NFTs for the month of March. Reports indicate that Amazon is planning to release its own NFT marketplace, a move that could potentially drive mass adoption of Web3 and bring NFTs to millions of global users. An official Amazon email confirms the existence of digital tokens and a gallery of the platform, sparking excitement and speculation about the company's entry into the world of NFTs. The email mentions resale opportunities and the need to register as a reseller before listing NFTs, providing a glimpse into the potential structure of the upcoming marketplace. Sony has filed a patent for transferable NFTs that will allow games is to own in-game assets as NFTs and take them into other games and platforms, including the Xbox. The painting includes examples of digital assets, such as skins, artwork, avatars, weapons, and skills, and mentions the use of NFTs in esports tournaments. Sony's move towards NFTs reflects the company's recognition of their potential and the future of gaming being tied to ownership. Meta has decided to pause its digital collectibles initiative on Instagram, just over a year after announcing its plans to allow sharing of NFTs on the platform. Meta Commerce and fintech lead Stefan Kazriel stated on Twitter that the company would focus on other ways to support creators, people and businesses while continuing to invest in consumer and business-facing fintech tools. Prior to the pause, Meta had added Ethereum, Polygon, and Flow NFT cross-posting between Facebook and Instagram products and integrated a decentralized storage protocol, Arweave, to the platform. And that's it for this month's market update. We've seen some interesting developments in the world of cryptocurrencies with Bitcoin and Ethereum showing signs of resilience despite recent market turbulence. As always, we encourage you to stay informed and stay vigilant, especially when it comes to your investment decisions. Remember that cryptocurrency markets can be volatile and it's important to do your own research. We hope you found this update informative and useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more news, analysis and insights into crypto and beyond. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next month.